Hello, I'm Penny Schilling. You may have already met my parents and brother. They also make videos for Mrs. Schilling's Emporium. Today I want to talk to you about living with cervical cancer, particularly the best foods to eat and the foods to avoid. Please click on subscribe below so that we can tell you when new videos are released. I'm sure you know that there's no magic formula and no single way to completely prevent cervical cancer, but there are things that you can do to reduce the risk, or indeed live your life to its fullest potential. This isn't about lecturing anyone, or about sex education, nor medical advice, it is simply about what foods to eat that may help you fight, prevent, reduce and of course live with cervical cancer, and live your life. Just one quick note about smoking. According to the U.S. Library of Medicine, research has shown that cigarette smoking plays a role in the early stages of carcinogenesis, from the acquisition of HPV infection to the development of cervical cancer. The risk of cervical cancer in smokers is twice that of non-smokers. Stopping smoking is important. By consuming a nice choice of fruits and vegetables could help protect you from developing cervical cancer. The right and proper question is how. In the vast majority of cases, cervical cancer is caused by infection with the human papillomavirus HPV. Experts believe that a diet, that is high in the antioxidants, carotenoids, flavonoids, and folate that are found in fruits and vegetables can help the body fight HPV infection. In turn preventing HPV infection from turning cells of the cervix into cancerous lesions. In a comprehensive study published in Cancer Research, researchers found that females whose blood tests recorded high levels of certain chemical compounds that indicated a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, were able to clear their HPV infections much quicker than their peers. This may help reduce the risk of cancer. It is not just fruit and veg. A lot of clinical research firmly indicates that there are tremendous benefits associated with diet and cancer. Eating a mostly plant-based diet, made up primarily of fruits, vegetables, beans and whole grains, is the way forward with enormous positive benefits. It is so simple, and even cheap, to include the foods that are attributed to the fight against cervical cancer. Don't worry, you can have meat too. Be mindful that females who partake in unhealthy diets, based on meat, fatty and processed foods, have a higher cervical cancer risk. We need to take a proper look at red meat, and processed meats. A research paper published in the U.S. Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health, The Effects of the Dietary and Nutrient Intake on Gynecologic Cancers, the author states and I quote, to the best of our knowledge, the long-term consumption of pro-inflammatory foods, including saturated fat, carbohydrates and animal proteins is a risk factor. Processed meats are generally meats that have been preserved in some form by drying, smoking, salting, curing or indeed adding other products including chemical preservatives. Processed meats include deli meats, hot dogs, bacon, sausages, luncheon meats. Eating processed meats increases your cancer risk, because when meat is processed, cancer-causing substances are said to be formed. There are plenty of good alternatives to red or processed meats, such as beans and legumes, like split peas, chickpeas, lentils, pinto beans, and kidney beans. Fresh or tinned fish, such as tuna, salmon, or sardines. Lean poultry, like skinless turkey or chicken. Nuts and nut butters such as peanut butter. Here is an example of a one-day, three-meal plan. For breakfast, orange juice, melon, yogurt, and granola. For lunch, toasted cheese and veg open sandwich, with red peppers, carrots, mushrooms, and sliced courgette. For dinner, tossed salad with grapefruit segments and whole wheat pasta with spinach, black beans, chicken, and diced tomatoes. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? Healthy and delicious. What are the food choices to prevent cervical cancer? I mentioned that in terms of cancer prevention, clinical experts suggest a plant-based diet. This diet consists mainly of fruits, vegetables, beans, and whole grains. 
You can of course add some low-fat lean meat occasionally and plenty of fish. This group of foods contain a whole host of beneficial natural chemical compounds that can easily make up daily meals. Examples include, flavonoids, folate, carotenoids. Flavonoids are natural chemical compounds are believed to provide protection against cancer. They are found in, apples, asparagus, black beans, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cranberries, garlic, lettuce, butter beans, lima beans, onions, soy, spinach, folate. This water-soluble B vitamin has been found to reduce the risk of cervical cancer in women who have HPV. Foods that are rich in folate include avocados, chickpeas, lentils, orange juice, romaine lettuce, strawberries, fortified cereals and breads, and finally carotenoids. Studies show that carotenoids as a source of vitamin A are also helpful in preventing cervical cancer risk. These are a valuable extension to the fruits, vegetables, and beans mentioned earlier. You could also include orange foods such as Carrots, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, winter squash, a soup, stew, or casserole, even a chunky curry made up of all those orange vegetables offers a delicious and healthy meal. When it comes to any form of diet, we know that we must eat a lot of vegetables, however, there are certain types of vegetables that are known to fight cancer as well as providing enormous other health benefits. These five cancer-fighting vegetables should be added to your diet. Tomatoes contain lycopene, the antioxidant phytochemical. Not only does it help prevent heart disease, but they're an excellent source of vitamins A, C, and E. These are all enemies of cancer-friendly free radicals. Broccoli contains a good amount of sulforaphane. This is a particularly strong element that boosts the body's protective enzymes and flushes out cancer-causing chemicals. Kale provides necessary nutrients to help fight cancer. Kale is another cruciferous vegetable like cauliflower and broccoli that has a high concentration of vitamin C and vitamin K. Carrots are packed with disease-fighting nutrients. They contain beta-carotene, an antioxidant that scientists believe may protect cell membranes from toxin damage and slow the growth of cancer cells. Studies suggest carrots protect against cervical cancer, perhaps because they supply antioxidants that could battle HPV human papilloma virus, the major cause of cervical cancer. Cabbage will help fight off cancer in our bodies. It should be minimally cooked or eaten raw to reap the full benefits of its cancer-fighting properties. There is another group called cruciferous vegetables. I have mentioned some vegetables before, that are also cruciferous vegetables. The group includes, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, horseradish. Excess estrogen levels have been linked to several female cancers, including cervical. Cruciferous vegetables help eliminate excess estrogen in the body. They contain a certain compound called indole-3-carbonyl. This lowers estrogen activity in the body thus reducing cancer risk. It will be good practice to include at least a couple of these cruciferous veggies in your daily diet. Cervical cancer can be fought. To win the battle, a healthy diet is essential and will work wonders in combating it. It's not just about food though. A combination of diet, exercise, and regular checkups with your doctor all can help to reduce stress levels and boost the immune system. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Could I please ask you to like it by clicking on the like button below and if you'd like to see more of these videos, please click on the subscribe button.